Hey folks and welcome to part two where we're going to take a tour around Google Sheets. If you didn't see the first video on how to use Google Sheets, I'll pop a card up above and the link in the description box below so go check that out first. Let's dive in and take a look around at all the different options in Google Sheets. Okay so here I have a new sheet. At the top here we can name our sheets. Once the sheet has been renamed, we get these options show up next to it here. So we can star the sheet and that will show in our starred section within our Google Drive. So it makes the, the file easier to find. You can move the file from here within your Google folder to a different location. You can choose where you want to put it within your Google Drive. And this icon here is the offline online status. So you can make your documents available offline. And that's something we'll cover in a, in a separate video, but it's, uh, it's quite an interesting one, that one. Okay, so this icon here would take you to your Sheets home. So you can, from there, you can find other sheets that you've created recently, and you can also find templates as well. Next up, we've got the main sort of menu options at the top here. This is where you're going to find a lot of the options that you're going to be using within Google Sheets. So it's the typical sort of stuff that you, you would expect to see, I guess. As I say, there's things like making um, the documents available offline. You've got the version history. So you can check back on what happened to the sheet at various points in time. You've got the main settings, which is quite an interesting one. And so just to highlight this, this point here, this locale is, is something you should you know keep an eye on because obviously you can see on mine, I have pound signs up here being in the UK. So depending on where you are, you'll have a different currency set here and your timing as well. And you also get to change a few other things on, on the recalculation when it comes to certain formulas and things like that. So you don't need to worry too much about these, but this is just um, one thing you might want to just check. If someone's created a sheet that wasn't in your locale, then obviously you could go in there and change that. And so there's a whole pile of options, which we're going to dive into in separate videos, but you can see that the, the list of options is comprehensive. There's a real array of different options available to you within here. And we've covered quite a lot of these already in other videos, things like the, the drop down smart chips and things like that. You can also get to the Google Apps script from up here as well, which is a really interesting feature of Google Sheets. I'll do some separate videos on that as well. And you can also get add-ons for Sheets as well, which is really useful in the, on the marketplace. So it's something to look out for. And you can actually record macros to, to speed things up, you know, sort of repetitive tasks that you do within Sheets as well. If you're looking for something, you can use the help function to search for something in here. And again, this is the version history, so you can see history of what's happened to the sheet. And then below that, this ribbon that you see here, this is largely a formatting ribbon with a few data options at the end over here, like your functions and your filtering, inserting charts, that type of thing. One really interesting thing here, if we just create some sort of heading here, so we're going to put, a, say, a blue background on here with some white text, let's say. So when you've got something like this going on and you want to copy that formatting, you might have some other word in another cell. If you click on this cell here, you can click this little paint format icon up here. And as soon as you click on some other cell or a range of cells, that format gets applied just as it was over here. So if I, for example, centralize this as well, and then click this again, when I highlight this, that will also get applied over here. So that's quite a useful thing to know. Um, it doesn't get used a great deal, but I use it a lot. Um, yeah, it does save a lot of time. So you've got the, the zooming function as well, which is useful if you want to see more of your data on the screen at one time. And your quick sort of options up here as well, as well as text and that type of thing. In the top right hand corner, you've got a document view history. So you can see if you've shared the sheet with other, other people, you can see what what's happened and you know when they open things and when they change things that type of thing there's the comment history so you can see any comments that have been made and i'll do a separate video on, on comments and, and notes in google sheets because that's a really powerful feature that one if you're on a google meet you can present this tab within the call itself which is really handy and then of course you've got the share option as well so you can share the sheet with individual people or with um within an organization or just completely with anyone that's got the link essentially and you can be more specific and say that they can only view or they can comment on the on the sheet or they can be a full editor and this is just who's logged in right now this is my icon you can hide all these menus at the top here by clicking this option here to make things make a bit more room below that you've got the formula bar up here so if we did a formula in here you'll see whatever i'm typing in the cell right now will show up in that formula bar there so 
if we do something like something like that. So that's a formula and you can see the formula once you've clicked on the cell. So we can see the cell contents right now, but this gives us an opportunity to see what's actually in the formula as well. If we double click on the, on the cell, you get to see the formula as well. And you can drag this to make it a bit wider as well if you've got quite a long formula. Um, it goes down to about there, that's it. Over here, you've got the naming option. So you can name cells or ranges of cells with this, or you can locate where your cursor is located within the sheet. And down the left, you've got your row numbers. You go, f when you first open a sheet, you'll have a thousand rows and 26 columns going up to column Z in the end here. One quick tip for you, if you hold Control Shift or Command Shift on a Mac, and then the right arrow, you go all the way to the end of the, of the sheet. And then if you do the same, con Control shift or a command shift and then the left arrow you go back again and the same control shift command shift and then the down arrow and you'll go all the way to the bottom and up you'll go all the way to the top again so that's quite a quick way to navigate around your sheets there any cell where your cursor is positioned if you right click you get this contextual menu pop out which is quite useful and you can do the same within the actual column sorry within the row or the column headings as well so if you right click on here you get a contextual menu here or the same on the column heading and you also see it on this little drop down here as well down at the bottom here you can see the different tabs that you could have um, or sheets so the whole thing is called a spreadsheet and these are called sheets so you can click this plus icon to add another sheet and you can have as many as you like along here and once you've got quite a few open along the bottom you can actually use this all sheets icon to, to view them in a list like this, which is quite handy if they disappear off the screen. Finally, on the right here, there's this Explore AI. And you'll see this pop up occasionally um, when you're creating formulas. Google will make some suggestions about what it thinks you're trying to achieve. But within here, if you've got some data, the Explore AI will try and give you some insights into that data without you having to create any tables or formulas or anything. You can just highlight a bunch of text and use this Explore AI to figure out um, if it's something that is worth exploring further, I guess. And that's again with something we'll look into separately as well. You can rename these sheets by double clicking on the name, or you can right click and you get a contextual menu, just as you do in any other cell. And of course you can rename it from here as well. So that's pretty much it for a tour around Google Sheets. But of course there's lots of bits and pieces to cover within the top menus plus all the contextual menus you've seen there as well. But we'll cover all of those in, in separate videos. But in my opinion, I think Google Sheets is a really clean and user-friendly interface when you compare it to Excel. I mean, I do like Excel, but I've, I've got to say I prefer using Google Sheets. If you're on the fence, you know, about jumping over from Excel to Google Sheets, um, I can understand the, the sort of hesitation, but once you do, you'll unlock, you know, a whole opportunity of other additional formulas that just aren't available in, in Excel. And the learning curve, I think, for some of those formulas is, is much less than it would be if you was to learn something like VBA in Excel. Have a look at some of the formulas that you get in here. And there's, there's just some that you just don't get, like the, the Google Finance and the, the language, that type of thing, the Translate, and the Google Query function as well. So there's some really compelling reasons to, to use Google Sheets over Excel. We're going to dive into a whole array of different videos about how to use Google Sheets and all the formulas that are available within there and all the tips and tricks that can get you into a pro user. So make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Learning how to use Google Sheets will be a real boost to helping you out at work in your productivity and learning how to manipulate data and just feeling confident about using formulas within Google Sheets. Now I can help you with that. So make sure you do subscribe. You'll learn a lot along the way. So I hope you found that useful folks. Let me know what your thoughts are. Do you prefer Google Sheets or do you like Excel? Be interesting to know what you think. Okay, with that said, that's all for today, folks. Catch you in the next one.